Every morning, I leave the house around 7 so that I can reach the office before 8 o'clock. My house is very near to the railway corridor which then connects me down to Tanjong Paga to my office place where I can cycle very easily. This morning, I will meet JK from Discovery Cycle SG for some coffee. The way I started cycling at age 6, you want to visit the neighbours and you want to go and play. So, mode of transport, cycling is definitely a, a, a must. Until you know, I started working, it was about 20 kilometers to reach the working place. That's how I continue my journey as a commuter. I usually lived on an island, it's, uh, it's Pulambukong. Okay. Yeah, probably when I was four or five years old. That was necessary because if I don't know how to cycle, I don't get to go to school. <laughs> so, okay. And over and above that, the bicycle is to help my family business of food delivery. Typically, in a young age, you decide to do something different. And uh, I started to plan and look forward to a one-year uh, backpacking trip until I met uh, other cyclists. So I pick up a bicycle in the uh, southern part of China, and then I cycle through Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, and then down to Singapore. And this is where the first time I arrived in 1994. As a commuter, of course, you always try to keep to the time schedule so that you are on time in, at work. But I think the, the beauty part about this corridor is the flash greenery, the roads is very well paved, very fast actually yes. to, to go down that road and actually get mentally prepared for, to get started at work. Yeah. So it's really a nice transition and also very relaxing. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So this morning, JK will accompany me part of my journey. So actually, safety is not an issue. Lah. Because it's all spread out. Huh? But you see, you see here, if you can use the, the green corridor, it, it's, it's, a, it's paradise, you know? Yeah. So in terms of connectivity, I think the main PCNs are already there. There are different feeds coming from the east, the northeast, the north, west, into the CBD. The connectivity continues to improve because you not only have PCN, you have got cycling paths, you have the concept of shared paths, and then pedestrian paths itself. So all this add on to the connectivity because the bicycle, the humble bicycle, is allowed to go on all different surfaces. We are going now separate ways so that I can continue my journey. The challenge is always maintain properly your bike. Working brakes, very essential. Looking at the setup, of course, a folding bike allows you to hold it down to transport easily. Here I have my towel and also I can bring actually my laptop and I can easily lock it and remove it and make it as a sling bag and go to work. So my advice is of course, if you intend to be a commuter, you know, scout it first. It doesn't need to be always the fastest because safety, of course, is uh, most of concern. All the way here down to uh, Tanjong Paga, beautiful surrounding, give me peace of mind. In terms of uh, end of trip facilities, these facilities will include shower, changing room. Other facilities, of course, will be beneficial is to have a parking area where you can lock your bikes. I think looking at the future itself, commuting will be part of our life and there will be more and more people doing it. I think the authorities itself, they put a lot of effort in and also the people start realizing that actually commuting to office has a lot of benefits. It's part of the fitness and of course you also then no need to join the crowd in the MRT or when you drive in the traffic jam. 
It's the beauty having on your own pace, actually reaching your working place.